All right, Shalom. First of all, giving all praises, glory, and honor to the Heavenly Father and His Son, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Brakata. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, and much love, peace, and blessing to your leg brothers out there that's pushing us through across the four corners of the globe. I'm the brother not by Ayasha, the GMS Indianapolis camp. Come with another episode to get your mind right. All right. I know some of y'all are probably wondering why there are so many doctrines being taught out there in Israel. I ain't talking about, you know, dealing with, uh, really, I ain't talking about the churches or nothing like that, because, you know what I'm saying, we know they all going off, but I'm talking about within Israel that, that says they know the truth, because you got, what, uh, uh, Comfrey's Church, uh, uh, what was it, uh, Israelite Church of God in Jesus Christ. You got Israel United in Christ. You got the Gathering of Christ Church. You got uh, uh, the House of David Church. Uh, that's not the real House of David Church. You got, uh, who else? Uh, 14th Street. You got uh, Zabak. But they are, and then ultimately you got what? The Lord set up who? Great Millstone. GMS starting with our elder apostles, Elder Tahar, Elder Gabar, Elder Ramla, Elder Rakar, on down to us younger brothers, you know what I'm saying? But you got so many camps out here teaching do different doctrine, but there's only one true, true doctrine. And there's only one real group that's teaching the one true doctrine, and that's <laughs> Great Millstone. They teaching the truth hands down. Starting off with our elder apostles. You see what I'm saying? So we finna get into the book of Acts. Chapter uh, 2. Starting at verse. Uh, I'm gonna start at verse 40. And read all the way down. It's seven verses. But these are. See it's 144 right here on the clock. The Wadi Haobah Shimei was shy. <laughs> Everything is spiritual in this life man. Starting in verse 40 it says. And with many other words. Did he testify and exhort saying save yourselves from this untoward generation untoward means rebellious or unruly generation so the lord is telling us to what save ourselves from this rebellious and unruly generation but how do we save ourselves by coming back to the law statute commandments of the bible to the words of how about shimei verse 41 then they that gladly received his word were baptized who was that talking about the elect the elect of the nation of Israel, of Yahshua Allah. How was they baptized? With the word of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Water baptism wasn't going on anymore. You see what I'm saying? Uh, let's see. Get that in Ephesians 5. And I'm starting. I mean, really is in 26. Ephesians 5, 26. It says that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. So the word cleanses you. There's no more water baptism, Mr. Word. It says, Then they that gladly received his word were baptized by the word of Yahweh by Shimei Yahushai. And the same day there were added unto them about 3,000 souls. See what I'm saying? It's 144,000 of the elect. And guess what, brothers? We are part of that number. Lord willing, we some of those men. But we have to carry ourselves in like manner. Because I know me, I've been praying a lot over my spirit to help me deal with anger, man. Because these people out here have been pissing me off, man. Like crazy. I just be wanting to squeeze and squeeze until their eyeballs pop out, man. But I know I can't carry myself in that manner and act out on that. So I had to pray for more patience dealing with these dumbass people around here. These people dumb as a box of rocks here in America, man. And they get dumber and dumber by the second. Forget the date. They get dumber by the second. And it says... Uh, verse 42 and they continue steadfastly in the apostles doctrine and fellowship and that's what we're doing we're continuing in the apostles doctrine that was left from our forefathers Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Moses, Noah you know what I'm saying uh, who else Adam, Enoch you know what I'm saying uh, Abel uh, Aaron uh, who else uh, Boaz uh, who else uh, Gideon uh, Jeremiah, Jonah, Joshua, Ezekiel, Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Obadiah, 
on down to uh, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. You see what I'm saying? Uh, Paul, uh, Mattathias, uh, Simon, Barnabas. You know what I'm saying? Uh, who else? Titus. You get what I'm saying? Our forefathers on down to us. We carrying out the same doctrine, and the only man that's really doing it is who? Great Millstone, GMS. Why? Because we teaching this true doctrine of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. We're not teaching that Yahweh Shah died for everybody. We're not teaching that the Lord's name is Jesus the Christ. See what I'm saying? We're teaching what? Against homosexuality, because they just passed that um, uh, all 50 states must honor and, and, and uphold the gay marriage law. It's the law of the land now. You see what I'm saying? We're not teaching that the Lord came and died for everybody. We're teaching that the Lord is what? A so-called Negro from the tribe of Judah. He's a Judite. See what I'm saying? It says, it said, uh, continue steadfastly, steadfastly, continue with being faithful, being loyal to the word of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh It says, in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship and in breaking of bread and in prayers. Breaking of bread of what? It's teaching his word. And in prayer, it's praying. It said, it said, uh, what? Uh, uh, pray always. You know what I'm saying? And we breaking bread. How? Teaching his word. We also breaking bread. How? Showing brotherly love. Helping brothers out when they need help, man. And it says, verse 43, and fear came upon every soul. Fear is the beginning of wisdom, right? And we also fear because why? We reverence and respect Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Because why we know he'll destroy us if we disobey and transgress his law, man. Being rebellious, hard-headed, stiff-hearted, stiff-necked, impudent. The Lord will kill us, man. But we fear him out of reverence. Why? Because he's a supreme being. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is the creator of all. See what I'm saying? And it says, And many wonders and signs were done by the apostles. Even today when we pray to the Lord, guess what? Many signs and wonders are done. Even when we put curses on people. Now them curses are coming uh, coming to fruition faster than ever. They're coming to light. The, the Lord, when we put a curse on a, on a person, he brings it to pass immediately. There's no more waiting a month or two now. The Lord is bringing it to pass. See what I'm saying? He's answering his, his men's prayer uh, speedier than ever, man. Why? Because he's about to come and destroy this place and take us home, man. Take us back to the kingdom of Israel. It says, And many wonders and signs were done by the apostles, and all that believed were together. That's why all us brothers are together in Great Millstone. That's why we enjoy each other's company, t talking to each other on the phone. You know what I'm saying? Going to visit brothers in other cities and states. Why? Because we're, we're all on one accord. We're all together, man. You know what I'm saying? We all had that same chord with you. How about Shem Yahweh Shai? Because we're cleaving to this word, man. We all had the same like-mindedness of you. How about Shem Yahweh Shai? See what I'm saying? The scripture tell you what to uh, have this mind as you. How Shai have? You know what I'm saying? Be like-minded as you. How Shai? Basically. You know what I'm saying? It says uh. And all that believed were together, that's the elect, and had all things common. What's that? The doctrine, the word, or you how about children, I was shy. We all have things in common. We don't get on the phone and call each other, hey brother, what you teaching this week? No. That's just the way the spirit works. And we are in, in different states and different parts of the world. London, you know what I'm saying, Hawaii, uh, Jamaica, the Netherlands, Germany, you know what I'm saying, Japan. But we all speak on the same doctrine. That's why you know this is a spiritual thing when you wake up and you go out there and teach and you watch videos and see brothers teaching on the same lesson that you're teaching or bringing out some of the same scriptures. Why? Because we're all, we all had the same things in common teaching this doctrine that the apostles gave us, man. Starting with Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai on all the way down to us to the present day. It says... And sold their possessions and goods and parted them to all men and every man had need. Hey, we gave up everything in this world, man, for Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. And it says, 
and they continuing daily with one accord in the temple. That's what we're doing. All those brothers together form one body, forming one temple. They ain't talking about the, the synagogue of Satan. No, that's not what it's talking about. It's talking about our bodies. Our bodies is a temple. And we all form what? One, one house. See what I'm saying? We're all one body. It says, and they're continuing daily with one accord in the temple and breaking bread from house to house. That's why you see brothers visiting each other, going to different cities, going to different states, going to different parts of the world, going to see the elders, the apostles. See what I'm saying? This is the same thing we were doing back then, reading it right here in Acts, man. Like the scripture said, there's nothing new on the sun. If there's any, is there anything where, where they can say it is new? No. We did this in the ancient time. It said, from house to house, did eat their meat with gladness and singleness of heart. What meat is that? The word, Yahabashim Yahabashai, with gladness and singleness of heart. Because we eat meat every day. We eat hamburgers. We eat steaks. We eat bologna sandwiches, turkey bologna or beef bologna. But you don't see us eating it with gladness of heart. We don't, we don't be celebra sitting there celebrating eating a uh, a, a steak burrito? No. This is talking about the word. It said, and singleness of heart. Meaning what? Not being drunken off the philosophies and ideologies and uh, of this world. That's why I said singleness of heart meaning singleness of mind. Focusing on this word. This is our true love. Yeah, we have wives, but this is our number one wife. This is our ultimate wife. See what I'm saying? Verse 47, it said, praising the most high and having favor with all the people. See what I'm saying? Like the scriptures tell you, if at all possible, be at peace with all men. But the Lord is, is the one that put his spirit on us for us to have favor with all men. See what I'm saying? Just like it tells us in, what is it, uh, I think Isaiah or Jeremiah, th that our enemies shall in entreat us well in the time of our afflictions or in the evil times in our afflictions. Meaning, no matter where we go, you how about she now was shy, give us favor with everybody. You know what I'm saying? Because we, sometimes we be like, man, how in the world did that happen? Or, you know what I'm saying? Even a heathen, it could be an Edomite that'll give you a break sometime. Maybe a, on the price of something in the store or, you know what I'm saying? He, he can ask you direction or something. Or he may feel compelled to give you some money or give you a job. That's the Lord putting the spirit on him to help you. Why? Because you're his chosen. You know what I'm saying? Lord willing, we're of the elect. It said praising God, praising Yahweh by Shimei was shy, because we do that every day. You're supposed to. You know, wake up giving thanks to Yahweh by Shimei was shy. Thanking Yahweh by Shimei was shy for the good and the bad and the ugly. Everything we go through, our upside downs, hell and high water. We thank you how about Shimei was shot because even Job said, shall we not accept the good as well as the bad? You know what I'm saying? Life is not going to be all peaches and cream. But we are, we thank you how about Shimei was shot for putting the spirit on us or even helping us to endure this hardship. For making our burden a little bit light. You know what I'm saying? Being here in this hell hole known as America. It says, and the Lord added to the church daily such as should be saved. It says such as should be saved, meaning the elect, because everybody's not going to be saved. Not on this side. That's why we go out on the highways and byways and be what? Fishers of men. Trying to set the mark on the men that sigh and cry, you know what I'm saying, on the, uh, the abomination to be done here in the midst of Ofu, Babylon. You see what I'm saying? So that's why we go out here on the highways and byways. We're trying to find them, find those that the Lord is going to save, the elect of Israel. See what I'm saying? So that's why the brothers of Great Millstone, we teach that one true doctrine. Even the rape doctrine, we all teach the same accord that is lawful by the word of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. See what I'm saying? Other camps hate that. Y'all ain't number rapists. No, we not. You don't see us out here doing that. All things are lawful, but all things are not expedient, like Paul said. Through the spirit and power, you how about Shimei was shy. See what I'm saying? That's why we teach the same doctrine. See what I'm saying? Yahweh Shai said what? He hates sodomites. Guess what? We hate sodomites. 
which are today known as who? Homosexuals. We hate them with a passion. So that's the same doctrine of what? The apostles. See what I'm saying? So hey, bro brothers, keep fighting the good fight of faith. Keep contending uh, for the faith. You know what I'm saying? Not, not uh, what, what did Paul say? I have not shunned to, uh, to to declare the gospel. Don't hide nothing from nobody. Give them the truth, whether it's the good, bad, or ugly. Whether they hear it for bear, whether they like it or not. Whether it make them mad, happy, glad, sad, do backflips, cartwheels, or whatever. Tell the truth. Oh, you how about shooting me? I was shot. Remember, the Lord will destroy you for being a respecter of person. That's sin. The Lord hates a respecter of persons, man. He's not a respecter of person. We not either. We not supposed to hold back this truth, man. We supposed to give it full fledged, three hundred percent, man. Well, seven hundred percent. Seven is completion. Seven hundred percent, completely. You get what I'm saying? So with that, all praise and glory and honor to the heavenly Father and the Son. You help by shimmy our shout brakata. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and much love, peace, and blessing to all you elect brothers out there. That's pushing the truth out of love and sincerity and humbleness of spirit. With that, hey, this has been another episode of Get Your Mind Right. All you people out there sinning, stop sinning. Come back to the law, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father. Get your mind right before you get destroyed. You see what I'm saying? With that, hey, Kwan Mashaala, Kwan Bakar, death to America and death to Indianapolis and abroad across the world. With that, hey, Shalom.